Hi students, welcome to HSC Biology and Module 7, Infectious Disease. This is video number 11, and in this video we're going to do a, just a really quick overview of what you might include in your case study of viral pathogens in Australian plants. In the last video we looked at fungal pathogens in Australian plants, and we set up kind of the way that you might go about, or the sorts of things that you might include in your case study. This is exactly the same, but now we're going to be looking at viral pathogens. So we'll see um, just how you might start to lay this out. As we talked about before, you need to identify a viral pathogen in an Australian plant species to describe the relationship between the pathogen and the host, and to discuss some of the responses of the host plant, perhaps to the presence of the pathogen. So all we want to do here is give you just a brief overview of the sort of things that you might include. And again, this material um, you can find on the Easy HSC site, um, but it's probably also important to look at uh, a number of other examples um, if you can. The um, case study is basically going to include the same sort of things that you looked at for the fungal pathogen. So the name of the pathogen and the name of the host, these are very important um, because the relationship between these two is the relationship that we're interested in investigating. What is it? Uh, what part of the plant are the, uh, is the virus attacking? Um, how is it doing so? How is it getting in? What does that look like? So how would we go about diagnosing that a plant had a viral pathogen? Sometimes um, it's as simple as the fact that the fungal pathogens can have kind of more of a fluffy appearance, um, but that can oversimplify things very easily. So it's important to um, understand a couple of these. I think it's important to get a sense, uh, to look at some photos or some pictures, to have a little bit of a wander around in your own gardens to see if you can see some evidence of these sorts of pathogens uh, actually attacking any of the plants that you're most familiar with. And again, what we want to do with our viral pathogen is to look at preventions. What are the strategies that the um, either plant has itself or that we as managers of the plant might be doing in order to try and prevent um, any individual plants from being infected by this particular virus and also what sort of control measures or cure we can look at. Quarantine can happen on a large scale but it can also happen on an individual scale. If you do notice um, this particular one uh, is a, a mosaic virus um, that infects plants like turnips and other members of the brassica family. And so um, this particular one is something that you might want to have a little bit of a, a look at in a bit more detail. But there's plenty of other examples. And as I've mentioned previously, you may want to try and find an example that's a little bit more quintessentially Australian um, than some of these introduced um, vegetable species. The brassica, that said, the brassica family is one of the most diverse um, families in terms of the range of different vegetables that we've been able to attain from different parts of the plant of the brassica species. So work through the steps, um, symptoms, what it looks like, prevention, are there strategies that the plant uses to um, avoid contracting the pathogen in the first place? And if, the, if we do find an individual is infected, what can we do? What does the plant do in order to try and combat the virus? And what can we do as managers of these crops um, to try and limit the spread of the pathogen to other individuals? So this is obviously a very, very quick overview. It's not the sort of detail that I would expect. I'd like you to build um, depth into each of these areas. Um, but I think it's also worth making sure you get yourself um, photographs or pictures, something you might be able to reproduce in an exam in a very simple way that allows you to discuss um, this relationship between pathogen and host for an Australian plant. Thanks for watching.